The day I have been waiting for for so long has finally arrived. The Command & Conquer Remastered Collection from Limited Run Games is here. So for anyone that might be new to my channel, the original Command & Conquer has a very special place for me. It was actually the very first game that I ever saved up my own money for and bought myself back on DOS, of all things, back in 1995. So I was following the remastered collection's progress very intently, waiting for it to come out, and then Limited Run Games announced they were doing these collector's edition packages. But yes, so the game came out quite a few months ago now. I was able to do a review for it over on Game Tyrant using my Steam key that uh, Limited Run Games sent out for pre-ordering this monstrosity. And the game is just fantastic. It makes me so happy. It's a good remastering of a classic game. And, oh, I just love it. I could go on forever. But I'll have a link to that review so you guys could just read my thoughts instead of me recapping that. Because let's dive into this unboxing is more important to me. Okay, so let's just dive right in, cut this open. This is a really good box. It's got enough space in here that I could just slide the knife through. I'm really happy about that because there's a lot of times where the knife just doesn't fit right. And I'm worried about breaking the box or cutting it. Not a concern this time. Very nice. Oh, wow. That actually came off very clean. Hmm. Wow. Look. This is so shiny. Get off. This is so incredibly shiny. This is so glossy. I'm like... I'm like in awe of this. Like, holy crap. Look at this. It's so shiny. I'm like a raccoon. I see something shiny and I just want to grab it. Oh, this is so cool. Got Ally Soviet logos on one side, and then we got GDI Nod on the other. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, time to dig in. Wow, that was on there good. I like it. Wow. So, before we dive into the contents, let's just admire how thick this box is. I love thick boxes. Alright, neat. Tech trees, laminated tech trees. This is freaking great. So, Soviet. Nothing on the back. Then we have Nod. Look how many more units they added in Red Alert, man. That's so crazy. Like, this Nod tech tree is just so much simpler than the Soviet tech tree is. GDI tech tree. Uh, I love that it actually highlights multiplayer-only units. And then the allied tech tree. Look how much more there is. Like, this... Uh, it looks like this one is, like, delaminating itself a little bit. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. It's not like I'm really going to look at these a whole lot. But look how many more units there are. It's just insane. And then the good old chrono tank. Next up, we have this CD here, and it is the Command & Conquer Remastered Collection Digital Assets Collection. Oh, neat. So it's got... Okay, cool. So it's got a digital version of the art book, the tech trees, faction icons, and posters of the original cover art. That's really cool. Get this opened real quick. All right. So the cover mirrors the outer box, which I really like. And then it's just a... Uh... Simple DVD, it looks like. That's awesome. And it's really stuck in here. There we go. So yeah, I think it's DVD. It might be CD. And so the insert is just a single piece of paper. It's not a booklet or anything. Very, very cool. That's I'm going to enjoy looking at that. Okay, so next it looks like we have the soundtrack CDs. And yep, Command & Conquer Remastered Collection soundtrack CD. Signed, sealed, remastered. Very nice. So it's got Frank Klopacki's signature on the back. Look at this, Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, so this is the door from Red Alert. This is also what I use as a channel intro for those of you who don't know. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's got a signature on the back and just lists all the discs that are in here. So we've got Command & Conquer Remastered, available tracks 22, total length 70 minutes 51 seconds. Disc 2. And then disc 3 is the beginning of Red Alert. And then we also have this um, insert. So this contains track lists for all the discs. So disc 1. Disc 2.
Disc 3, heck yes, we've got some Hellmarch here. It's my favorite theme from uh, Command & Conquer. Hellmarch 2, really, but still, the first one's good. Disc 4. Disc 4 has the original Hellmarch demo, I want to give that a listen. Alright, Disc 5, this is Aftermath and, Count Aftermath and Counter-Strike songs, very cool. And then finally, Disc 6 is uh, Frank Klepecki and the Tiberian Sons, a bunch of remasters and remixes of different songs, and this Hellmarch 2 and 3 medley is just absolutely amazing. But yeah, Disc 4, Disc 5, and then uh, Disc 6, these are... I like the way these discs look, they really fit the theme of Command & Conquer to me. Okay, so what is this? Um... Oh, it's a beanie. <laughs> it's a beanie. I forgot that this was coming with a beanie. That's really cool. So it's got the GDI and Nod logos, and then on the inside, so it's reversible, it's got the uh, Soviet logo and the Allies logo. Like, that's so cool. Um, I, I really wouldn't suggest wearing the Soviet logo out and about. You might get jumped for being a uh, freaking commie, but uh, that's really cool. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't really wear beanies, but I might need to rock that one sometime. And then next up, we have uh, faction patches. These are really cool. So we got the Allies patch. And these are really big. Like, it's a lot bigger than I expected. And they're really nice. Oh, look at this. So they're even Velcro. So you can uh, just sew the Velcro part onto, um, like, a jacket or something. And then you can uh, remove them later if you want to and just get a new Velcro strip. GDI logo. Is this the right GDI logo for Command & Conquer 1? I feel like this is a little newer. Ah, well. And then, of course, the uh, Brotherhood of Nod logo. I mean, my goodness, was there a more iconic logo in the 90s for me than the Nod logo. Like, that was just great. So good. Next up, we have the art book, and this is really cool. Okay, so we've got, like, the concept art, the 3D rendered model, and then it also has the legacy, the legacy sprite over here as well as the um, original uh, icons for when you would build it in the uh, task menu. Obelisk. Oh, that's cool. It's even got, like, the animation sequences that it goes through. That's so cool. <laughs> the dinosaurs! Uh, the gunship. Recon bike. And then, uh, oh, here we go. So, red alert. Oh, this is cool. I need to give this a good looking through. Very, very nice. All right, and then underneath the art book, it looks like we have a couple of uh, obelisk and Tesla coil uh, quick start guides here showing you how to swap out the batteries. I'm not really going to look through those. Okay, so this is the Tiberium Crystal USB drive that's going to have all of the soundtrack on it. It looks really cool. And it plugs into this uh, little Tiberium Crystal base, so that's really nifty. I'm going to have to take a look at this. Yeah, I love how you could just display it. I'm definitely putting this on the shelf. It's so cool. Okay, so then we have faction pins hiding up here in the upper left side of the box. So, Nod, GDI. Oh, wow, the GDI one is just, like, all golden. Like, that's crazy. Looks really good. Soviet patch. So, that actually turns out really nicely. It's so funny having all this stuff with freaking Soviet branding on it. It's so weird. Then, of course, the Allies. So just like the GDI one, this one is super golden. Hard to get a shot with my ring light like this. Still really cool. Oh, see, now this right here is one of the things that got me most excited about this. Just these little figurines. So this is the Mammoth Tank. Look at this monstrosity. So the turret turns. doesn't turn all the way, so it does have some lock. It doesn't go up or down. But, oh, it's so cool. Four treads, twin cannons, rocket launchers, and this thing is heavy. Like, this thing is so solid. It, oh my gosh, it's so great. It's so wonderful. Then we have the obelisk statue, so... Looks like the battery is blocked off. We'll unblock that real quick. And, oh, that's so cool. And then there's a button on here that will activate it. So it's the top one. Oh, that's so awesome. Dude, I freaking love this. 
It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but at the same time, that's probably a good thing because I can't really fit a lot of big things here. Oh, that's so neat. Love it. And then we have the Tesla coil. Look at this. So this one just pushes down. Dude, this is so cool. So this one takes a coin cell battery. It's got a little speaker on the bottom. Oh, man. I can't get over that. That's so cool. <laughs> the Tesla coil is so plain compared to the obelisk, but, like, that's so neat. So here's a better look at what the inside of the packaging looks like. I really like how they have all of these housed foam areas for everything. It's so cool. Such a well-made package. So that is the Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, the Ultimate Edition that was being offered by Limited Run Games. And overall, I'm very happy with the package. Like, I love this box. I love how shiny it is. And I just love all the little goodies that are inside of it. I cannot wait to display a freaking obelisk. Like, this is freaking awesome. I want to put this on one of these shelves. I need to rearrange some stuff. We got to make us a Command & Conquer shelf. Like, we got the N64 version up here, but now it's going to be joined by this. But, yeah, this is just... That's just so cool. And then even the, <laughs> the freaking Tesla coil, too. Like, this is just fun to me. Like, this is very, very fun for me. And then this mammoth tank, man. I can't get over how heavy this thing is. Like, this is solid. And then, uh, of course, like, the soundtrack being on USB, the art book, just all this really cool collectible memorabilia stuff. Like, I'm bummed they didn't come out with a way to get uh, the game on, like, a physical disc. Like, I know that was a big thing for everyone when they first announced this, but I knew going into this that it wasn't going to have that. I still wanted it just because this franchise has meant a lot to me for the past uh, 25 years now. Dang. But... Yeah, it just meant so much to me. I'm happy to see that these games got re-released, updated, and that just more people get to experience it. And then for people like me that have just kind of been there since the beginning and just really love what this game was about and, like, it's really meant something to us just to have some really cool stuff just to show it off. So, yeah, I mean, this purchase is more just a shelf purchase honestly like it's the only reason that it exists but you know what everyone has something that they want to do that for so for me it's command and conquer and i'm glad it finally happened so <laughs> what are you gonna do but anyway thank you so much everybody for watching this unboxing video it means a great deal to me that you would spend time here watching this and hanging out with me on the internet of all places so it's awesome stuff i'm glad to have you on board and uh for the ride <laughs> Oh, and before we forget, uh, there's also, the, of course, the uh, limited run trading card here of Command & Conquer Remastered. Forgot to show that off. It was hiding in the box. We got these new uh, crazy uh, card backs going on. Interesting stuff. Gonna put this in that box. But anyway, let's go ahead and call it there. Let's keep this one a little bit on the shorter side instead of going into 20 minutes or so. That's just not okay. Um... <laughs> Again, thank you everybody for hanging out, watching the video, commenting, just checking out anything on the channel. It helps out so much in the growth of the channel. So thank you all so much for being a part of that. It means the world to us, me, my family, everything. Just thank you all so much. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, that like, dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's video. And if you'd like to further help the channel, you can always check out that join button here on YouTube or check out the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen or in the description. As always, every little bit helps in the continued growth of the channel. And I am just so grateful, just even for the consideration. Thank you all so very much. And for everyone who has already done so, you are continually my champions and continue to amaze me week after week. Thank you all so much for being a part of this. But let's get out of here. Until next time, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.